Hey guys, today I am out exploring a little something different. This is Leonard's Mills, and it was Alewives Day today. They have um, an area down here at the dam where the fish will come up the river. So we're going to go check it out. right in my hometown. So, pretty cool. Figured I'd bring you guys along. What a beautiful day. Got out of work a little bit early today, so decided to come out for a walk. All right, so let's read what this signage says. Hang tight, guys. I'll meet you down there. So this is still active. They still use this. There's still workers that come here. Um, wow, this is pretty cool. All right, so I've actually never been down here. So we're checking this out for the first time. Looks like this is a little building, possibly a, an outhouse that they built. So we'll check that out later. There's another building up here. We're gonna go down this way see what this says. It says, oh, it's talking about migration of fish. So that's kind of cute for children or kids to learn. Get a close up of this one. All right. This is a beautiful covered bridge here alongside the mill, or the old part of the mill. Wow, that's beautiful. All right. First time seeing this, guys. We're checking this out all together. Wow. I'm gonna have to come back and take some really nice pictures here. This is beautiful. So, I guess there's something called a fish ladder. I've never been down here, but... Wow, this is so cool. I think it's up here, so we'll get up that way in just a second. Let's check the bridge out. Wow, this is so beautiful, guys. Oh my gosh. Wow. Yeah, we're gonna have to go check this out. Oh wow, this is cool. So this is a map of Leonard's Mills, which I've never seen before. And it looks like there's an amphitheater, bateaus, whatever that is, blacksmith shop, caretaker's house, covered bridge, flagpole, footbridge, gift shop, herb garden, a hovel, log cabin, Lombard log hauler, nature trail, original dam, parking lots, pine grove, privies, Pump, sawmill and pond, saw pit, sawyer's house, shingle making, switchel stand, rifle range, trapper's camp, knife and tomahawk range, maintenance and storage, beans and biscuits. That is awesome. Wow, look at all these buildings up here, guys. We're going to come check this out in depth a little bit more. But for right now, I would really like to go see if we can't find the fish. Um, I did see some people driving in, so I just wanted to get there and make the video before people start walking around and mess up my video. <laughs> How pretty is this, guys? Wow, this is beautiful. I think this is what they've called the fish ladder. I don't know. Is this the fish ladder? Let's see, what's this called? Oh, it just talks about the water-powered mill. So we're going to walk up this way and check that out a little further. This is beautiful, guys, huh? What do you think?
All right, let's go back this way. That is just too cool. Check that out, oh my God. <laughs> this is in my backyard and I've never checked it out. What is wrong with me? <laughs> this is probably 10 minutes from my house. Seriously. Wow. I want to work and live here. <laughs> wow. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, the beavers have been coming up chewing those trees there, the poplar trees. We'll check out all these buildings maybe today or maybe another time, but right now I really just want to focus on this water and see if we can see any fish. A sluice way? How cool is that? Wow. <laughs> Sneak guys. Sorry I keep saying wow, but <laughs> I'm fascinated. This is literally in my backyard. How awesome. How lucky am I? Oh, this must be the dam. All right. I'm going to stop bouncing you around. Let's pause for a minute. Wow. This is so cool, guys. History. And it's still active. That's what's really cool. Sorry, I'm so shaky. I'm doing this by hand. I don't have a stick or anything. So this is what a bateau is, in case anyone was wondering, because I was. Wow. I think it has a little literature about what it is in here. Those chains. That's awesome. What does it say? It was a rival part of driving, getting the logs downstream from the woods mills, railroads, and communities. It provided a solution to the problems, not only of clearing the log jams, by, but of transporting many men and supplies up and down the swift and sometimes hazardous rivers, dating at least from French and Indian Wars, 1950, or 19, geez, I'm crow, 1754 to 1763. The bateau possibly evolved from the French fishing dories. And it just goes on and on and on and on. That's cool. Let's see if I can. So this says here, Maine's most famous bateau traveler. Why? Benedict Arnold, of course. Arnold's 1775 expedition up the Kennebec in Dead Rivers to attack Quebec was ill-fated for a number of reasons, including the hasty constitution of the Bataus. They were so poorly made that men and supplies often got wet, contributing to illness and exhaustion. Interesting. So it looks like a boat of some sort. And that's probably what's under this tarp here. Actually, I know that's what's under the tarp just by the look of it. So the bateau is actually this particular boat. And it helped uh, break up log jams and get people to where they needed to go. That's really cool. So it looks like they're working on this walkway, so I'm not going to cross over too much just because I can tell they're constructing it and they don't want people walking through but let's see if I can get up to um, the water at least yeah so this must be where the alewives are coming up or I would assume I don't know I didn't see any today but who knows all right so I do want to go over there this is the mill dam I want to somehow get on that side and check out it over there. So let's check this out. 
If you guys don't mind, I'd really like to check it out. We'll walk around and see what we can see in these buildings. Um, you yeah, know, I realize it might not be very exciting to some people, but I think this is absolutely incredible. So I want to bring you guys along. You can see spring has sprung here. So beautiful. So this is actually in Bradley, Maine, I believe is the town. Please do not drink water from the pump. So there's apparently a pump house in there. Um, so it's Bradley, not Eddington, but Eddington is where I live. This is cool. Looks like this is to be a garden at some point. How beautiful is this? That is beautiful. Let's get a little snapshot of that and the house. All right, very cool. Looks like a little compost pile out there and a community fire pit. I'm not quite sure what this building is, but it's really cool. I don't know what's down here. Let's go check this out together, guys. Let's see. Eagle Project. Oh, that's cool. So like Eagle Scouts. And there's a nature trail out here. That's awesome. Let's just read this, what this trail is, because I haven't ever been down here. So it says Nature Trail. Trail to Woodland Preserve, round trip one and a half miles. Let's peek what's in here. Hopefully not any critters. Oh, that's neat. There's a cache in there for you guys to fill out and a map. It's really great. The Boy Scouts have done this. That's pretty cool. Oh, that's neat too. So they have little kiosks where you can learn about different things. What a great thing for the boys to do. Great project. All right. Very cool. Check this out. So this is obviously a rig of some sort, or a jig, if you will. How cool is that? So that's used to make various items. That is pretty cool. It looks like parts of some sleighs in this barn here. Ooh, there's an old sewing and yarn. Um, I don't know if I can see in these windows, but we're gonna try. Oh my gosh, guys, those are eagles. Do you hear them? My zoom can't zoom in far enough. There they are, those are eagles, guys. There's a mama and her babies flying around. How's that, guys? Bet you didn't think you'd see eagles today. And if you listen, you can hear them. Well, let's check this out and see if we can get in and at least get a visual. That is cool, guys. Can you imagine spinning back then? It's just so neat. Let's see if we can peek in this window. Very cool. I'm going to have to actually come here when they're open and uh, check this out. See what they do here. This is great. Oh, I see the blacksmith shop. Or I see the anvil at least. Okay, so this is a Sawyer's house. Oh, this is cool. Okay. So this would be the Sawyer's house, which it looks like is where they put all the spinning stuff. Wow, guys, there are five birds up there, and I can tell three of them are eagles. They're probably all eagles. I think they're all juvenile eagles. That is so special. Oh, and there's even a rainbow, guys. How American is that? America, we have a rainbow, and then we have the eagles flying around up top. That is so special and so cool. I'm sorry I'm so shaky, guys. I actually need to eat, like, desperately. All right, so we're going to zoom out. Yes, yeah, so I came here after work, <laughs> so I haven't eaten anything yet. 
I'm a little bit hungry. That's neat. It looks like a barn or some sort for an animal. And there's a corral there. So there's got to be, it had to have been used, I would think, for an animal. Maybe not. How cool is that, guys? All right, let's see if I can. Yep, that's beautiful. This looks like it has a medic. You can see the anvil on the door, but it doesn't say blacksmith shop yet. It might somewhere else, but it has a... Oh, I just scared off some squirrels. They're right out that way. <laughs> Let's see if we can peek in. Oh, wow, this is the blacksmith shop, guys. Oh, my God. This is a reason to come here. I would come just to see them working in the blacksmith shop. I love that. There's a place at the Freiburg Fair that I go to every single year, and the guy has been there for <laughs> however long I've been going, and he does some really great stuff. Wow, that's so cool. All right, let's keep checking that out, guys. This is neat. What does this say? I'd like to check out this to see what this says. The hovel. This is the hovel, okay. The hovel was a rough, temporary barn used to protect teams of oxen or horses at night while they were being used in the woods. The word was normally pronounced as ha-vel, ha -vel, with the accent placed on the first syllable by most woodsmen. Usually, hovels were built of logs and roofed with riven shingles, now called shakes. Oftentimes, settlers would build a hovel and live in it themselves until more permanent cabin or house was constructed. It was even possible to find a family and their animals using the same structure for protection. The book Liberty, Men, and Proprietors by Alan Taylor shows photographs of an old northern Maine settler's hovel. That is awesome. So that's totally cool. So it was for, it was for oxen or horse and also sometimes used to house the folks themselves. That's great. Okay, check out some more buildings. Oh my goodness, I see an earth oven. That's cool. All right. So this is the blacksmith shop. There we go, I see it. Yep, so blacksmith shop. That's awesome. And then this says a little bit about oxen in here. Some neat old bricks there. Looks like another privy, I would assume. All right, let's check this oven out. Doesn't look like it's been cooked in very often. Looks like it's got quite a few cracks to it, but still pretty neat. Good attempt, but they definitely need to uh, replace some things about it, but that's cool. All right, so it looks like we're nearing the end of this little adventure here. So we're going to head on on the other side and see what else is down there and see if maybe we can see some fishies. Maybe not, but this is really cool. <laughs> this is definitely a lot more than I expected it to be. And even having the nature trails, I did not expect that either. This is so beautiful. I just, I'm, I'm, I'm wildly impressed that this is in my backyard. <laughs> and excited, like seriously. I'm going to take a quick picture of this, and then I'm going to hobble down, and I will meet you guys down below. All right. That's a good size oak. Quite a good size oak. I wonder if that baby has some... I wonder 
that that has some uh, chicken of the woods on it in season. How cool is this bridge, guys? That's awesome. Oh my goodness. All right. Sorry, I just wanted to give you one more look at this area before we left and went around. Wow. So cool. I apologize for the wind noise and the water noise, guys. I know my camera does not filter it out very well. It makes it gurgly, and I do apologize for that. Really, really cool. The info box. Let's see what's in here. Oh, it's just a little brochure here. I'm actually going to take it. That's pretty cool. Spot where you can leave your donations. It's beautiful. I will be doing that. Some jerk face left his McDonald's cup that I will take. It's just water, so it's not going to hurt that, but still arrogance. Arr! Foolish people. Oh my goodness, I can see them. Wow. I can see their fins. Let's see if I can get you guys up here. That's awesome. Ooh. So they're all caught up in this little area right here. I can see their fins on the tops of the water. Let's see if my camera will pick that up at all. Oh my goodness, that's awesome. Oh, they're all right there. Look at them all. Can you guys see? That is like black fish. Those are all fish. See them? They're all right there. Wow, guys. So those are the alewives, and they're coming up the river. Wow, that is so cool. We saw them, guys. I'm just going to sit here for a few minutes, and then we'll go check the rest of it out. But this is awesome. That's so cool. We saw them, guys. All right. Wow. Pretty cool. All right, I'm going to pause this for a minute. You know what, guys? The more I look at these fish, these ones in particular that are right here, I'm not convinced that they're alewives. Because I can see them almost coming up out of the water, and to me, they look like trout. They look like trout. They do not look like alewives. That's interesting. Huh. They definitely look like trout. Holy shit. I wish I had a net. No, I'm just kidding. I would never do that. But isn't that neat that they're all fighting to get up that river? They're fighting against that current. Trying to get up that river. All right, guys. I'm sick of watching the screen. I know you can't see the fish very well. I do apologize, but they are down there. <laughs> Not going to lie, guys. I just sat there for another five or ten minutes trying to figure out <laughs> if those are trout or not. <sighs> it's really difficult to see them, but... Anyway, we're back up here. Looks like they had a little course with some tires. They did a little thing with children today, so... Probably had a little course going on. I'm going to go throw this in the trash that's just right up there. <laughs> just a couple of seconds from where the trash was. All right, so not only did I put my trash away, I had to check out this bathroom. <laughs> There's another stall over there. 
But seriously, this is a really nice bathroom. <laughs> and it smells like fresh wood. <laughs> All right, we're done here. <laughs> Let's go back up this way. Uh, it's a pretty cool building. It says the private home. Caretaker's cabin. God damn, I'd like to live here. Can I live here, please? <laughs> I'll be a caretaker. I'll take really good care of this place. Wow, sorry guys. <laughs> I was trying to get a picture. <laughs> oh, that's really pretty. Look at this. Holy crap, can you imagine this is your backyard? You just sit right here. <laughs> Hold please, I have to do this. <laughs> Alright, so remind you, I'm in my work clothes, so don't judge, but actually you don't even need to see my clothes. Wow, what a beautiful spot. <laughs> I mean, seriously, I don't think it gets much nicer than this. Alright, let's go down here real quick. I wonder if this works. I have to try it. <laughs> I just have to try it. <laughs> I don't think so. Come on! <laughs> that was a letdown. Look, they even have cups here. That's not nice. It's not an electrical thing. It's probably got a switch to shut it off. It's probably... <laughs> That's true. It's probably like motor... It's got an electric motor on it. <laughs> Never fails. Wow! Look at the shakes on that roof. That's awesome. What's this? Ooh! Smokehouses! How cool is that, guys? We're going to go check out the smokehouses. Hey guys, actually, we're going to stop right here. I'm going to go ahead and make a second video because it's already getting to be a very long video. So we'll check out the trapper's cabin and the rest of the stuff on this side of the mill in just a little bit. And we'll probably end back at the wheel and on the covered bridge. So meet me back for part two, guys.